Hey guys, we are starting my second peak week now. And for those of you who've worked with Justin, you know, seven days out, you get your last high day, you train legs. Um, last peak week, I was super, super flat. Um, I ended up, <laughs> probably shouldn't say this, but um, I ended up adding a whole bunch of extra carbs, um, kind of auto-regulated because I was so flat. I had posed with a couple of um, experienced people that morning and they were like, oh my God, please eat. Um, and Justin and I talked about it on the podcast too, and he was kind of like, yeah, I debated adding like an extra 150 carbs that day. So, um, I sent him pictures this morning just to make sure we're not needing to make any last minute adjustments, but otherwise I'm going to plan on eating my normal, uh, pre-training meal right now. That is hundred carbs on a high day. So I do half cream of rice, half instant oats because I'm a schizo and I can't decide. And I actually kind of like, like the texture of the two combined hot cereals, like one of my favorite things. Um, so I'm going to eat. And then drive to the gym, which is about 30 minutes, and then do a little bit of PT work on Marty Fitzwater, train legs, and get after it. Monkey I don't know if any of you guys are weird like me, but I pretty much always have to eat my meal out of the same bowl. I have like one bowl that's my hot cereal bowl. Um, yeah, anyway, one bowl. I have a meal. We were at the gym. I just did a little bit of dry kneeling on Martin. Thank He's getting ready. So much. <laughs> we're going to do a little more tomorrow. Um, but he's getting ready for Texas, and then he's rolling into Arnold Classic UK, which is going to dominate. He's looking sharp. Very excited. She's helping me a lot with the external rotation. Um, I have some rear delt boogered up with the Latin and tricep. Yeah. And she's throwing needles in me. I've been in them, all those type of things. But it's a blast, <laughs> so we're having a good time. Yeah. Um, really appreciate her doing oh, this gosh. on peak week. is crazy. So. I'm very appreciative of that. Well, I'm hoping that tomorrow we get some more change. It's been cool working with Martin, too, because he's so smart and he really puts the time in to learn. So for me, even on peak week, it's like I want to come in and I want to see changes. Like I want to see him hit his back double and then okay. needle him and see a change quickly. You know, that's that's the point of all this stuff. So um, it's always really cool when someone's not mean, too, because you can see changes happen that quickly. So should be good stuff. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get some good stuff in and uh, get him feeling pretty good. So I'm going to go try and hit legs. And of course, I'm going through the same thing that every athlete goes through where you kind of wonder if you're going to come in less conditioned for the second show. And, you know, you see Martin pose and you're like, damn it, I'm not lean anymore. But uh, so it's always just a little bit of a mind fuck on, on second peak week, I would say. Yeah, I, I haven't done back to back shows like this. So this is very interesting for me. Uh, kind of a new experience, obviously, being a pro and chasing multiple shows. Um, but what I can speak from experience is I definitely know chasing one even four weeks away, you kind of get in your head, you start to overthink things. Uh, but I promise you, you're not going to get fat in a week. And you definitely haven't eaten enough to get fat. So remember that you're going to be improved. Well, I don't know if Martin heard about the uh, pancake thon that we told you guys about on the, on the, uh, on the podcast. So anyway, we're going to go hit legs and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. So, a lot of times I think, um, especially in peak week, people feel like they really need to work um, super, super hard. Um, just a friendly reminder that more isn't always better. That's something Justin has to remind me of often. And um, today, for legs, I'm actually so sore from legs on Tuesday. Um, I've been doing more direct core work the last couple weeks. And um, I think that because I'm more stable and getting better output from my hamstrings and my glutes and my quads. And so, um, usually uh, today I do some leg pressing and I am so freaking sore still um, that I'm trying to make, you know, the judgment call of uh, pulling back enough to do some formation and not just like string myself out and at the same time getting enough quality work in too. Um, so there's a fine line. Um, you know, I think it's important for a lot of people to remember that, that at this point the hard work is done and you're not going to get a lot better or a lot worse from one session. Um, but if you are too inflamed, you're too strung out, you're too flat, that can definitely make you a little bit harder. So. Um, I'm pulling back quite a bit today. I had to strip a plate off of my sets on the leg press. And um, probably going to pull back a on pendulum. I'll probably reduce volume on a couple things too. Maybe do some more isolation. So it's always just good to remember that, um, you know, this week when you start your training is not necessarily make or break. The hard work's done. So um, stay healthy, reduce inflammation. Great. Right, so I uh, just finished legs, did a little bit of posing. I never pose after legs for a reason um but i felt like i needed a little extra work today um i just started working with ashley jones who i met at chicago last weekend um for posing instead of the coach that i was working with and we changed quite a bit about my mandatories as well as my um individual presentation so um also just heard back from justin and we are going to increase my carbs today by about 100 carbs um which i feel good about um 
I think the plan this peak is to basically have me fill out a little bit sooner because part of what happened last time is I got so flat um, that to fill me out took literally all week and we really didn't get to start the drought process until um, much later in the day on Thursday than we wanted to. Um, so the goal this time is to um, fill out a little bit sooner and then be able to dry out a little bit more, come on stage fuller and drier, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, my impression is that the judging panel at Tampa favors dry and shreddy, um, which is great because that's kind of what Justin does. So should be good. Um, but yeah, posing after legs, there's a reason I don't do it. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat, um, do my client work for the day, maybe get together with a friend who's kind of been my like light. Um, I really struggle with so much self-doubt, especially right now where it's like, it's such a high game. Like I am like, am I still shreddy enough? Like my posing looks awful, but it's gotten a lot better. Um, I don't know that I've ever struggled with self-doubt as much as I have this week, to be honest. So, um, I'm probably going to come back tonight when I haven't just trained and hit legs a little bit. And I have a, um, session with Ash tomorrow. Um, I'm going to pose with Martin a little bit tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but during prep, when I get really, really hungry, I tend to find that if I am home, the temptation to eat is super, super high. So, um, God, I'm exhausted. I just took a nap and I'm getting ready to start client work for the day. I just pulled into Starbucks um, because I, on high days especially, have a hard time making sure I'm not munching. Um, so I'm gonna get some client work done and then head home and have a meal, probably chicken and rice or some variation of my hot cereal shenanigans. Um, and then probably go back to destination tonight, do a little posing. Right. Taking a quick break from work to get my next meal. It is chicken and rice. I have everything seasoning, Splenda, um, and a ton of cinnamon in there. I would put cinnamon and Splenda and everything seasoning on everything. Weird combination, but works for me.